next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to configure Okay, so I've configured the IP addresses on our devices. I just want to pick a font that's going to stand out. So we've got 192.168.2.0. On PC0, I've done the address .1. So 192.168.2.1. And on uh, the other side, it's 192.168.2.2. Down here on PC1 is 192.168.3.1 and over here it's 192.168.3.2. So now to do a test, just to make sure this is all working, we should be able to ping 192.168.2.1 to 2.2. Um, we shouldn't be able to ping across our VLAN, but we could ping um, from 192.168.3.2 to 3.1. So I'm going to go ahead and log on to PC4. Now obviously this isn't what you'd see on a, a normal PC, but you could get up a command prompt. So what I'll do is do a ping and it's 192.168.3.1. So I'm pinging from PC4 over to PC1. And you can see I've got a reply there as a reply to all my ping packets. Okay, so I'm happy that's worked there. I'm going to go over to PC3. I'm going to check connectivity on there. So this one, in fact, if we... Um, if I type IP config, we can see this address is 192.168.2.2. So ping 192.168.2.1. And we can see we've got a reply there. So that's all worked fine. All right, so we've got the same network diagram as before, but this time we've added a second switch. So we'll just cover which is where again. PC0, PC1, PC3, PC4, and we've added PC5, which is say in another part of the building it, it really doesn't matter though and what I wanted to do is we're just going to concentrate on VLAN 3 here now we've done the configuration already or partly done it for this VLAN here and it was VLAN 3 and it was finance The other thing I wanted to just remind you of is the port numbers. If I'll keep the same colour. So PC1 is in fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. PC4 is fast Ethernet 0 slash 5. Now we don't need to worry about this. Remember we've already configured this in the last lab. Now connection between the two switches we're going to need to configure as a trunk link again they're pretty clever these switches so actually it would already know but I'm going to put the command in anyway fast ethernet 0 slash 24 so I've used the very last port available on the switch there are gigabit ports but I don't really want to go into that here fast ethernet 0 slash 24 and then fast ethernet 0 sorry 0 slash Six, and remember the IP address for this uh, VLAN. It has to be in its own network. So we got 192.168.3. That was dot two. That was dot one, and we'll say this is. Sorry, that was dot two. This is dot one over here, and we'll say this is dot. I'll say it's dot five because it can be any device within that network. Okay, so I just want to 
just recap again and apologies if this has already sank in. Let's forget about VLAN 2 for now, that's all working fine and there's no devices down here in VLAN 2 so we don't need to worry about VLAN 2 going across the trunk. Here is our trunk link. So what we need to configure now are trunk ports going across the two switches. So the trunk ports basically tags, normally tra tags traffic to say which VLAN it is, gets here, takes the tag off and then delivers it to the correct device. So we've got a uh, VLAN 3 spanning across two switches. Uh, all the devices are in the same VLAN again. Can't emphasize how important this is. It, it won't work otherwise. You'd have to add a router onto this network and you'd have to configure the router to um, deliver traffic between the two VLANs. Again, we're not going to worry about that at this moment in time. All right, so let's go back to our network. Let's go on to the top switch. Now remember, it's 0 slash 24. Conf T <clears throat> interface fast ethernet 0 slash 24 now if the command was switch port mode access to make an access link now I didn't actually put that in last time I've remembered but because it's uh, in there by default switch port if I do a question mark so you can see all the different options here for this particular one If I type the question mark, we've got three different options here. We've got we can configure it as an access interface, forget dynamic, we don't need to worry about that, and trunk. So switch port mode, I'll just get back down to here, and it's trunk. T host name top switch just so you can see that it's the top switch alright let's go on to the bottom switch now you can see fast ethernet 0 slash 6 has already come up enable conf t we have to create the VLAN VLAN 3 what was it finance must match you must make sure you get the typing of the name wrong uh, the wrong, typing of the name correct sorry and we need to drop interface fast 0 slash 6 switch port access VLAN 3 the next thing is interface fast 0 slash 24 switch port mode trunk so that sets it to trunk in I press control and Z now if I do a show interface trunk command show interface trunk to see which interfaces are trunk in by default trunks will carry all of the traffic for all of the VLANs you can change that but we don't need to worry about it for this explanation so fast ethernet 0 slash 24 is carrying all the traffic for all of the VLANs so the only thing left to do is if we go back to our PC you don't really need to worry about this but I'm just going to put an IP address on the fast ethernet interface I think we said it was going to be 192.168.3.5 tab down it'll give it the default subnet mask so in fact we should be able to then get to a command prompt type 